Howdy folks, today I want to talk to you about parapet coping, capping off a masonry parapet. Often it's a trouble spot on residential commercial buildings. Parapets left to the weather, degrade, cause damage, causes damage uh, below in the walls and the structure. Now this home in Ardmore, PA, it was built in the 1920s to uh, replicate or resemble an Italian villa. Uh, it's a unique property. We've been doing uh, several projects around the property for the last several years. Today we're going to tackle the tower, the parapet on the tower, which is starting to leach moisture. Uh, the bricks on the top or the joints are uh, breaking down. Moisture's getting into the walls into the structure below and affecting the outside and the interior of the building. Um, as you can see we've got a nice slope on here and uh, we're going to finish off this parapet in a unique way. Uh, as you can see there's a lot of tile on this uh, cladding on this roof, uh, copper work, gutters. We've been uh, doing several repairs on this home like I said in the last uh, several years. Now, uh, as we look at parapet coping, parapet capping, it's usually done in metal, uh, aluminum, galvanized steel, copper. Um, there's still that same age-old problem with metal expansion contraction. Here's uh, an area on the home in the carriage house that was done by our competitors, done in heavy gauge aluminum. And as you will see in the summertime, the joints are nice and tight. Winter time, we visited for some emergency repairs. Look at that half inch gap. Uh, this type of capping, coping uses continuous cleaning and, and inevitably a sealant between the two pieces of metal. Uh, it's going to leak. Uh, if you use copper or a, a metal that you can solder, those joints are going to break because. On a long run, you know, typically over 20 feet or thereabouts, uh, when the metal's uh, jammed between corners and it can't move, it's gonna, it's gonna swell and it's gonna break. So, what we uh, suggested for this property was to use a fiberglass top, uh, a cap on here. So first, we got to build a wood frame uh, so we can attach a fiberglass cap on this uh, parapet. So we uh, get our wood frame built, putty our joints, get everything sanded nice and, nice and neat, uh, install a fiberglass, polyester resin fiberglass reinforced cap on this uh, structure. And when it was all done, it was finished off beautifully with a copper coating, a copper roof coating it looks like copper it is copper it's gonna uh, patina like copper and there you have it without all that excessive movement joints no joints monolithic uh, finished product that's gonna last who knows how long uh, a lifetime at the very least uh, fiberglass decks and roofs uh, as long as they're maintained every 10, 15, 20 years, you, you just check out that the UV coating is on there. The, the, it'll last for a lifetime. So there you have it. Thanks for watching.